welcome to a special edition of Boost Bernie Business here on Bernie Radio 103.9 FM. Baron Wiley here broadcasting from the Richter Studio in downtown Bernie. And I'll tell you what, I don't know, maybe two minutes from here, <laughs> the headquarters for Bernie ISD. And we're so proud to welcome, finally, Dr. Kristen Kraft to Bernie, Texas, uh, the new superintendent. And I just want to say welcome to Bernie. How are you? Fantastic. Thank you for having me. Yeah. And again, nice to well, meet you. My pleasure's all my, yeah, it's the first time we've met. I've been very uh, respectful of you just kind of getting in and getting your feet wet and, and getting going. So just in the first, it's already been a month, right? Yes, sir. A month. Goes by fast. Definitely. I was so impressed when you showed up and the first thing you did on that, that first day of school is that you got on the bus. That was a very early morning. What time was that? Probably 5 a.m. Dark 30. Dark 30 and it was cold and rainy. Yeah. But yeah, I loved it. Loved meeting our bus drivers and starting the day with them. So the kids get on, you're high-fiving them as they come in and just what a great first experience that was. I mean, how special. It was amazing. Very special. Well, let's start from the beginning here. You're a transplant from Houston or Spring Branch, I heard. The west side of Houston. Yes, sir. That's right. I grew up over on that side of town. I went to to Spring Branch Church there. Yeah, exactly. Back in the good old days. Uh, there's another, that's my story, another but I want to hear your story. <laughs> uh, but to, for anyone to move out of that area to come to Bernie, Texas is a win. So I just want to congratulate you. <laughs> Thank you. I want to find out, how did you find out about the opportunity? Well, I've been keeping in, in touch with colleagues and someone called and said, listen, Bernie ISD and Dr. Price is retiring. This might be a great opportunity for you. So they encouraged uh, me to look into it. I jumped online, yeah. I, re- I was digging into the Bernie website and thought, this is amazing, what an opportunity. So I took a chance. Yeah. I took a chance and put my name out there. And I know Dr. Price didn't have anything to do with the hiring process, right? It was an, a separate board that- Correct, the school board. The school board, board, board of trustees. for sure. Uh, but I do know that he loves Houston for some strange reason. <laughs> uh, did that have any favor in there? Did you be, are you an Astros fan or? <laughs> Definitely an Astros fan. Yeah. And it's been wonderful to spend so much time with Dr. Price. Yeah. Um, er, in some of our earlier conversations in the fall, he shared that he grew up in Spring Branch. No way. Yeah. And part of the interview process, uh, three board members came and did a site visit. And I was able to take our three board members on a tour mm-hmm. and show them where Dr. Price grew up. Oh, wow. On the north side of Spring Branch. In the projects. <laughs> No. <laughs> no so, uh, you know, Tommy enjoyed that and the board members enjoyed seeing where, where he grew up. Um, Fun. So it was a great connection. I've met so many people who have connections mm-hmm. to Houston or Spring Branch yep. or grew up in that area. And so it, it just shows me how small the world is. I know. Well, me too. I'm, I, again, I went to church in that, that neighborhood for sure. This is crazy. We lived off the Katy Freeway, but that's where church was. So sure. we know your title, but I'm pretty confident that you're also a wife and mom too, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, talk, talk about your family. Sure. Thank you. So yes, wife and mom, um, but before superintendent. So my husband is Chris. Uh-huh. Um, he is back in Houston. Uh, we have three kiddos. Huh. Ka- they, two, uh, Caitlin and Aaron, they are grown and living good lives. Caitlin is an esthetician on the north side of Houston in the woodlands. Our son Aaron uh, just finished his English degree and is studying to become a teacher. He's also a um, mili- trained military police officer. So we're really wow. excited about what's gonna be happening with him as soon as he gets his first teaching job. Right. Um, and then we have a third, our son Carson, who is 18. He will actually be 18 on Valentine's Day. Yay. He's my forever Valentine, um, but he's a senior in high school. And so he is back in Houston at Stratford, wrapping up his senior year, and he's a baseball player. Yeah. So, do you know up uproot a kiddo when they're right at the end of their, their high school experience? So my husband and son are back in Houston, and we're talking on the phone nonstop and burning up the miles between Houston and Bernie. Yeah, make it, are you able to catch games, though, on the weekends with to see your son play? Well, baseball season just started. Okay, good. So um, I can get back uh, in time on a Friday night normally to, to yeah. pull up right when the game is starting. Very good. All right, so we've talked about your title, your position there too, but as a citizen of Bernie, what is your impression of Bernie? What's impressed you the most? Why do you love Bernie already? <laughs> well, Bernie, it just has this amazing small town feel, but it's a growing district. And mm-hmm. so I'm hearing a lot about that when I'm on my listening and learning you know, welcoming the growth, but also wanting to preserve those traditions. So I look forward to seeing, I hear all about the parades, homecoming parades, Christmas yeah. parades. I hear all about that. Can't wait to experience firsthand. They don't do parades in uh, Spring Branch? Uh, you know what? Uh, there's a few, okay, uh, but not, not as big as what Bernie does, yeah. I'm told. But I would say my biggest, so in the role, my biggest takeaways at the moment are, you know, number one, relationships matter. Mm-hmm. I saw that on the first day of school and everywhere I go, like people know each other, they know their kids. 
you know, Bernie ISD is the largest employer in uh, in the county. And so there's a lot of connections mm. and relationships truly do matter. Second thing I would say is I've seen great instruction in the classroom. You know, the first day of school, January, forgot what day that was, January 8th. You know, great things happening already in the classroom. And then the third thing is just the strong partnerships of community support is mm. uh, something that's incredible where there's a need. There's a community member who will step up and volunteer to support that need. So it's just an incredible outpouring of support for the school district that I'm so fortunate to experience. Well, again, here, thanks to the chamber uh, and our business community, uh, this event is coming up there. It's the state of the school. And so help me, I don't know, 300 plus people come to this thing uh, from all over the business community. Uh, Did they do something something similar like that in Houston as well? Yeah, they've, they've done state of the districts. Yeah, well, this is just, again, Fantastic. Do you have responsibility on that day already? Do you know? Are you speaking or is it, uh, you're, again, you're soaking it all in? Well, I, um, no, I have a speaking part. Uh-huh. I'm working on my speech, speech. at this moment. <laughs> and when I first started, um, you know, board president Carlin Fryer and also Kim Blom had asked about the date. And I said, don't change the date. Mm-hmm. I will be ready. And so I'm just thinking about what my message is on that day when I've been in the role for about eight or nine weeks. Right. <laughs> It'll be great, I'm sure. It'll it's all come always together fantastic. beautifully. And I have a great team, and they're gathering data points and, and great stories. Principals are sending in great stories. And so we have a, we have a team hard at work and to showcase all the great things happening in Bernie. You, you've come to Bernie here, and you, you met the whole team. Just kind of recap the last 30 days. <laughs> <laughs> well, the last 30 days have been incredible. Fire hose, right? Uh, fire hose for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, moved over here January 1st. And so we had to find a place to go have lunch. Yeah. And so we f- we found the dog and pony. Yay. Yeah, it was a wonderful. My mother-in-law and I have some family in Blanco. And so they drove over. Yeah. We had lunch. We had a great time. And then, you know, got settled and started this job on January 2nd. Yeah. Dr. Price gave me a tour. He handed over the keys. Um, and I've been nonstop ever since. Oh, of course. And it doesn't stop. Correct. <laughs> We've got a busy week this week. Uh, Bernie Radio is airing the, uh, the the girls' basketball game tonight. We'll be airing the playoffs. And so, again, we love to, uh, to to broadcast the good news of Bernie ISD, but there's so much to celebrate. It's not just the sports. The students here are so talented and uh, and winning awards all the time. And, again, thanks to Brian Benway and his work and keeping me in the loop. There's just something every day going on with Bernie ISD, and there's just a reason why people are moving here, and it's because of this school. So, Exactly. So here's the next 20 years. How long are you going to be here? <laughs> 20 plus. All right, good. Good, good, good. This is the end of the rainbow? More than likely. Yeah. All right, I'm going to ask you a hard question here. Leaving your school district from before, talk about, man, where you came from and, and what sure. it meant to, 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 what did you learn there that you're going to bring here? Sure. Well, I have been in Houston for 28, 29 years yeah. and you know had great mentors and, and success in every place uh, where I served. Uh, I joined the Spring Branch Independent School District back in 2016, mm-hmm. and um, I am so fortunate for the time I spent there, yeah. uh, learning about what it means to lead a, a large school district and engage community, mm-hmm. and um, with the school districts that's, that is quite diverse. And so during that time, we navigated Harvey. Yes. You know, Harvey decimated a good portion of the school district. Wow. You know, my family, we flooded when they uh, released water from the reservoirs. Mm. And so just putting your house back together and the lives back together, you know, that's a long process. And so being part of the team that helped take care of kids and families was amazing. And then also navigating everything about COVID. Right. Um, you know, that was unprecedented times, things that we never thought we'd have to do. Uh, but much like Bernie, Spring Branch believed in getting kids back into school right away. And so I'm really pleased about our outcomes. We, we uh, posted strong gains um, since those years of being above state yeah. and uh, region. And Bernie far surpasses state and region. And so I just think that we learned, the whole world learned how important it was to have in-person learning, mm. go to school five days a week. You're a servant leader, I have a feeling. Starting yes. with you getting on the, the buses, uh, I think I even saw you in the cafeteria uh, serving food and again, <laughs> yes. just kind of going door to door and just kind of being real with the kids and reading to them and, and, and just being available. Is that, would you say that's your style? Uh, thank you for pinpointing that style. Right. I would say that's my style. Uh, you know, I want to be in the work. I want to be, you know, knee to knee and toe to toe with uh, kids and teachers and, and see things with my own eyes and hear it with my own ears. Yeah. Uh, mentorship is so important uh, with where our office is at is Das Greenhouse. There's this built in mentorship that, that happens in there. Very important in, in your world, too. I'd, I'd like to talk about, ask you, who was your mentor? Who brought you to this stage and encouraged you to do this and supports you? 
Well, I'm so fortunate to have many mentors, Mm -hmm. you know, every step along the way, I just always sought to learn uh, from the leaders. And so uh, Dr. Blaine, a superintendent in Spring Branch, she has been instrumental. My colleagues on the senior staff team in Spring Branch have been instrumental. Mm -hmm. But I often think back to the very first principal who hired me. Her name was Nancy Blackwell. She's still going strong. But she hired me as a fourth grade teacher. And I worked with her at a middle school. And she is actually the individual who encouraged me to go into administration. She saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. And I think that's the power of a mentor and the power that, you know, words have power. Yeah, And I truly believe that the words we speak are are critical to lift up and encourage others. Amen. And that's That's happened many times over for me, so I need to pay that forward. So you started off in the elementary level first? Well, that wasn't my intention. Uh My goal was to be a Spanish teacher. Wow. But um, my first opportunity came as a fourth grade ESL teacher, English as a second language. Yeah. Self-contained. I cried every night. I didn't know what I was doing. (laughs) But luckily, I had teammates who coached me along, and and I ended up loving loving that year in that school. Then I actually went back uh, to that same school as assistant principal and moved to the principalship there. Wow. Again, uh, just an incredible story. Uh, but then to transplant to, to Bernie, Texas. All right, now let's focus on Bernie. And and again, what you've already seen and what you hope to carry on with, with the momentum that's already going on in Bernie and, and anything new on the horizon that you might have a vision for. Well, Bernie is a fabulous district, a destination district. I hear mm-hmm. many times over parents, families move here because of the school district. Mm-hmm. And so um, that is just an incredible energy about what Bernie ISD is all about. But to be honest, I'm in my listen and learning phase Correct. right now, and I am meeting a lot of people. I'm asking them the same five questions, um, and I really believe that vision is something created together. And so one of my sayings that I've, I've shared many times over is that people support what they help create. Mm. And that actually was kind of embedded in me with um, all my years in Spring Branch, right. where we, we value community engagement and support. And that's how I've been brought up to lead as a central office leader. And so I just look forward to continuing, you know, meeting with uh, campus leadership teams, Mm -hmm. staff meetings, uh, PTOs at every campus, um, you know, being as plugged in as I can to community leadership and all those opportunities that Kim Blom over at the Chamber of Commerce has been helping me make those connections. Uh, So I'm just taking it all in and, you know, figuring out what are the next steps in Bernie ISD. Well, they'll come to you. (laughs) It's it's a different (laughs) adventure every day. It is. I'd I'd like to ask you now as a listener or a parent that might be listening, how can we support you? How can we pray for you? What do you want us to do for you in Burning ISD? Well, that is such a generous offer. Um, I really think about our teachers in the classroom, Mm -hmm. uh, that they do good work for our kids every day. Um, Really, my philosophy is that every student deserves to be in a classroom of a high-performing teacher, and every teacher deserves to be on a high-performing team. Every principal, it's their responsibility to build that strong culture, and it's the role of central office to ensure all the systems are in place. Mm. And so I just think, pray for us for, you know, discernment, teamwork, meeting the needs of students. That is what first comes to mind. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a lot. That's a lot uh, going on for sure. Uh, is there anything else that you want to say? You have the you have the microphone here. I- invite our listeners to, again, continue to support, There's, you know, via sports and boosters and, and mentorships. So invite our listeners to, to get involved and get engaged. All the listeners in Bernie ISD, I encourage you to get involved, be engaged, volunteer in schools, read with kiddos, and make a difference in the lives of our students. There are so many exciting ways to plug in to all the great work happening in Bernie ISD. And uh, if, if there's an interest or a need, just pick up the phone, you know, call a school, call the administration building, and we can try to get you plugged in to where your interest is to serve. I see you're wearing purple there. You had to get all new gear. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I did not wear a whole lot of purple um, in Houston, but yes, I have a newfound love That's right. for, for purple. And blue has always been my favorite well, of color. Of course, yeah. So. yeah I just comes Can't go so. wrong. Very nice. <laughs> well, uh, again, we've been talking with Dr. Kraft, uh, superintendent for Bernie ISD. So proud to meet you. You've got a friend here at Bernie Radio anytime. Thank you, Mary. Uh, you want to use our microphone to, uh, to shout the good news of what's going on uh, any anytime. Uh, so don't be shy. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Ah. Uh, And I thank you for listening to Bernie Radio, 103.9 FM.